We'll now move on to the entitlements. Most people are entitled to holiday pay and sick pay, especially if they're full-time employees. The holiday leave accrual, if I click on the white arrow, I can see there that he's entitled to 7.6923% of the gross hours worked. This is based on a 38-hour week or a 40-hour week. It doesn't make any difference. It's still 7.6923%. And it will give a figure which equals four weeks holiday per year. If there is some other rate to be used, then you will need to adjust that accordingly. And this is based on an hourly basis. If you have people who are on a salary basis, where they don't have gross hours put in, then you will find that nothing gets calculated. We'll come back to the salary ones in a few seconds. The linked wages category is holiday pay. If I take holiday pay, it will reduce the amount of the entitlement that has been building up in my records. If I click OK, it'll take me back to the main area. I also have sick leave accrual. And this is entitled equals 3.84615% of my gross hours. This will give me 10 days personal leave, sick leave. If you want to change it to personal leave, all you need to do is to change it at the top there instead of sick. We'll make it personal leave. And that's all we need to do to change it. If you're using an older system, you may need to check that this figure, 3.84615% of gross hours, is actually correct. In order to do that, all you do is you take the total number of weeks, how many weeks there are entitlement for personal leave, divide one by the other, multiply by 100, you've got the right percentage. I have the opportunity to print the amount outstanding on the pay advice. If you wish to do so, you merely click in the box and it will now be printed on the pay advice. Whether you carry the remaining entitlement over to the following year is a matter for the employer and the employee to agree. The linked wages category, I've got their sick pay. I might leave it at sick pay, that's what comes up click OK and it will take me back. Now these will actually calculate the amount of sick pay and uh, or personal leave and holiday leave for an hourly paid person. If I wish to have it for a salary pay, I need to click on new and add a new entitlement, holiday leave accrual for the payroll people. And this will equal an amount per pay period. If I've got monthly salaried people, and this is where I'm basically going to do it, I might actually specify up here that it is for monthlies, in case I've got some fortnightly salaried people. And it will equal the amount of four weeks divided by 12. Now, they're working 38 hours per week times four divided by 12. Press enter, 12.667 hours per pay period. At the end of the year, they'll have 12 times that amount, equal to four weeks holiday pay. Again, I will need to print it on the pay advice, and it normally gets carried forward to the following year. The holiday leave accrual monthly, if they take anything, will be reduced by any time off that they take for holiday pay. We need, therefore, to link the appropriate wages category to this entitlement. We have one here for holiday pay monthly. Click on that, click OK, and now any time they take off will reduce the entitlement. And I click OK. Having set up the holiday leave accrual for monthly, I also need to set one up for the personal leave accrual monthly. Again, if I click New, it'll ask me what it's going to be called, and I'll call it Personal Leave Accrual Monthly. Again, it's going to be a fixed number of hours per pay period, 
and it equals, we're normally entitled to 38 hours per week, and two weeks is the amount of 38 times two, and that's entitled over a whole period of 12 months, so I'll divide it by 12, that will give me an amount of 6.333 hours per month to give me my full 76 hours per year. Again, if I want to print it on the pay advice, I merely click in the box. And the entitlement, if I take any sick pay for monthly, will reduce. What am I going to call it? It's going to go against my sick pay monthly. Click OK. And now I can click OK, and my entitlements are set up. If I have people that are entitled to long service leave, I'll need to set one up for long service leave for those people.